Okay guys, so tonight I have the Mrs. Creature bath bomb from Sweet Shop of Horrors for you guys. And I'm so excited because this is just so cool. I've never seen anything like it. And she weighs over a pound, so I'm not sure that she's gonna float. So we'll have to see what I can do with her. But she is scented in blood orange and it smells so, so good. I unwrapped her tonight before I went to dinner and when I came back, my bathroom just it smelled so amazing. Just really, really bright and citrusy. So it's a really nice, strong scent. So um, might have to hold her up for a little bit. I don't know, she's pretty heavy, but let's go ahead and drop her in and see what she can do. Um, I do her well. Yeah, I just don't want to let her go. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't really get any further back than this. She lost the claw. All right. Oh, the water's so pretty. I have really been impressed with this, the foam that's been on top of the water. It's a really, really bright pink. Really, um, like a pretty emerald green. And it all pushes out to the side and it just has a really pretty fizzer in the middle. Oh wow, this smells so good. I'm sorry guys, I have to readjust. Hang on a sec. So what this smells like to me, blood orange is, um, it's a little more tart than regular orange. Oh, but it's, it's so bright. It's almost, it's almost like grapefruit, but it's not. It's still very much orange. It tastes really good too. Okay, so let's go down and check out this a little bit closer. Wow. Colors are just wow. Now, you know, the power of suggestion with me is pretty strong, but that green looks like algae to me. <laughs> it really does. you know we're in the swamp right it might almost be fizzed out
Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, I think we've just got some really pretty bath art now. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the watercolor before I go turn the jets on like I keep forgetting to do usually, but I hate to mess this up, but at the same time, I can't wait to see this watercolor. And I wonder if it has shimmer in it. I can't tell yet. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It is just so, so bright and citrusy. I'm not used to a scent like this. I don't, I don't recall smelling anything like this mm, recently or maybe at all. It's just as unique as this bomb. But this is, you know, I'm going to call it a swamp green. Let's just stay with that. But it's very unusual color and it's very in keeping with, with the whole theme. And it's just awesome. I love it. Okay, well, let's just get to the bubbles. And then I'll let you guys know um, either while I'm in there or when I'm out if it had shimmer. really nice and strong. It's, it's, I love it. It's great. Okay, it looks like it's going to get probably that, about that amount of bubbles is about what it's going to have, which of course you know me, I love little bubbles, but Maybe not too many is perfect for me. So if you don't have a jetted tub, you can probably agitate it and get some bubbles. But, okay, it's getting a little more. But maybe not too many, but it's definitely got some bubbles in it. That's great. So far, all of the ones I've had have hit just every mark on my checklist. They've just been great. So now we've just got moisture level and cleanup and this one's going to hit on every mark too i'm just I can't wait to get in okay see you guys in a minute all right so i'm done with my mrs creature bath bomb and this is what we have left in the tub we have some mint green colored luster dust i think is what that is so let me talk to you guys about that um i got in and I absolutely love the scent, the moisture level, the color of the water, the bubbles, everything was great. And I assumed that this bath bomb was going to be a 10 because all the rest of them were 10s and it was just an absolutely amazing bomb. I just couldn't get over it. Um, and don't take this as a negative. This is absolutely not a negative. This is what I'm here for just to tell you guys what my findings are. Okay, so let's get a little bit closer. I'm going to show you guys this luster dust. Now, this is just me. I felt this on my skin, and it's teeny, 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 tiny. Now, if that is your thing and that doesn't bother you, then that's perfect. Um, I felt this on my skin, so this is not something that I prefer. Here's the thing with this bath bomb. She customizes these bath bombs. Up front, she says, what color do you want them? Let me know. So if you don't want that in your bomb, just let her know when you order it. And you will want this bath bomb because everything else about it is perfect. So I'm just here to let you know that if for some reason you don't want this luster dust in it because you might not like that feeling on your skin like I did, then just say, you know, go ahead and leave the luster dust out. Um, with the really fine little maybe edible glitter or whatever before, you know, I don't usually feel that. And that's the only reason that I mention it. And this is going to just rinse right down. It's not a mess in the tub. But I just did want to let you know in case I didn't mention that. And you're like, ooh, what is this? She didn't mention that you would feel this on my skin. So um, that's really the only thing that stood out to me when I got in. So um, yeah, I just wanted to mention that to you guys. 
And um, I, I definitely would recommend it. I would hop on her site, I would grab one. You can customize your color. It's, it's just a great bath bomb. I really, really do recommend it. So that's really all I have to say about it. And I look forward to doing the last one I got very soon. And I also do have a couple of bubble bars from her. So I will have all of the Sweet Shop of Horrors links listed down below as usual. And I guess I will just see you guys back here for the next demo. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.